Greetings citizens and thanks for joining me here today at Smash and Crash for this quick look at the Aegis Vanguard Warden. The Warden is the first flyable Vanguard variant. We're going to see more coming in the future, but this is the only one out there right now. And it is a monster. It has four nose-mounted, fixed-mounted M4A laser cannons. It's got a nose-mounted Apocalypse Arms Revenant Ballistic Gatling Gun, which is a personal favorite of mine. It's got eight wing-mounted Ignite 2 rockets uh, in banks of four, one on each wing. And then it's also got a man turret with two Sawbuck Ballistic Repeaters, just in case you feel like bringing a friend along. It's also got a couple of Aegis Tundra coolers and a couple of Aegis Vortex power plants. As you can see, the missile bank's hidden under each wing. There's a couple of Aegis Tundra coolers on the engines on the sides of the wings there. It also has the power plants in the middle, and you can see the sawbuck, well at least you can see where the sawbuck is equipped to the turret from down here. Let's go ahead and have a look inside this thing. There's a tiny little hiccup when going up the ramp right now. It kind of freezes up for like a split second and lets you go in, and then when you turn around, well, as you can see, I hadn't closed the door yet. It was just, you know, black. For some reason, it wasn't showing through the clip of the ship, but I'm sure they'll get that taken care of. For a relatively small ship, it is pretty full-featured, to be quite honest. It's, you know, it's got the power control systems in the back here. Well, that could be weapons. I don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, it has a turret up top that we're going to check out later. It's a, got a pretty decent space inside here overall, but most importantly, it has a bathroom. I can't imagine what terrible, horrible situation you'd find yourself in that having the toilet and shower accessible simultaneously is necessary, but it is just in case, because you are out in space and you never know. There's a couple of life pods, a couple of lockers, and just some counter space, really. Uh, it'd be nice to have a kitchen there that may fit a kitchenette, I don't know. But either way, uh, those are what's right before you get up to the cockpit area here, which, again, presumably there's going to be some changes to this. It's really cool, it's very detailed. Uh, you can kind of peek out the vent there into the hangar, but I'm not sure if that's a bug or not, it seems like a hull breach might be a big problem. So let's go check out the cockpit and then we'll go out and, uh, what's the other thing that's left? Oh yeah, the turret! Aegis Combat Assist activated. Just a quick peek there and now we're gonna head on back out, check out the turret, and then get this thing into the verse so we can see the speeds and see what kind of damage it can really do. And up we go. This particular man turret is a favorite of mine because it is sporting the two sawbucks. And those are ballistic repeaters. And there's something just gratifying about the ballistic weapons. They tend to go through shields a little better. They do ar they do armor, yes. They do armor to the damage. They do a lot of damage to a ship's armor. I, I just really like them and having a man turret up there means someone can focus solely on shredding the armor of another ship. While it's no Jumpworks 350, this is a really fast ship, surprisingly so. Uh, it's very, very big, it's very maneuverable. I wouldn't necessarily want to go up against a couple of Hornets with this thing, but honestly, I would feel more than confident taking on just about any other ship I've ever encountered in one-on-one. -on -one. It has uh, a lot of power, so it hits hard, and it's got good speed, so it can run away. It's fairly maneuverable, so it can also dodge pretty well, too. Again, not the fastest maneuvering, but still really very quick for its size. The Warden starts out at a speedy 210 meters a second in space combat mode. It boosts up to 315, which doesn't sound like too big of a jump, but you'd be surprised when you're trying to make a tight turn or run down somebody. And then it tops out at a very brisk 625 meters per second in that cruise mode. When you're trying to cover some distance or maybe put some distance between you and somebody else, that can be very handy. Now that I'm out of range of the space station and I can use the guns again, let's go ahead and just do some stamina testing. The M4As are up first, and then we'll go ahead and try out the Revenant and see how long these last before they start to overheat. I'm not going to make you stare and watch me shoot at nothing for a long time, so let's go ahead and get this rolling. Speeding through the M4A laser cannons here, there's four of them at the front, they last for about a solid minute, compressed it down to about 10 seconds, and these things are powerful. If you're doing burst fire, you don't even have to worry about them overheating, really. Next is the Apocalypse Arms Ballistic Gatling Gun, the Revenant. This thing is powerful, it will shred your enemies, but it only has a 10 second fire time, so be sure to be mindful of, uh, of your burst fire with this one. 
The exterior of this beastie ship does its abilities justice. It looks really aggressive, it looks a bit tanky too, and it's got a lot of armor on there, or at least again, it looks like it does. I love the way the ship looks, I love the way it handles, and its weapons are just superb. Let's head over to Arena Commander here, try it out against a couple of drones, and see what it can do. Again, as always, I know this isn't the best place to test it to show you how uh, strong the weapons are, but this also helps me show some maneuverability that you wouldn't necessarily get in the verse, because, you know, you don't always find dogfighters over by the asteroids. You'll notice I'm taking a lot of fire here and there, missiles, blasters, whatever, you know, whatever they're throwing at me. Uh, but it's not really damaging the ship. You can see on the display that it's still green. This ship is, uh, is a bit of a beast when it comes to shields and armor. So once again, thank you very much for joining me here for this quick look at the Aegis Vanguard Warden variant. I really appreciate it. If you liked what you saw, let me know. If you didn't like what you saw, let me know. I want to know what you want to see. Tell me why you didn't like it. I'll see if I can fix it. I want to make this better for you. Thank you again, and I will see you in the verse. Ah, dang it. Dang it.